we all talk about chicken nuggets. We all talk about hot dogs and the, the nasty, disgusting things that are in there. But really, you never know for sure. Well, today, we know for sure what's in chicken nuggets. Scientists basically took apart, uh, little by little, very similar to the way that they would do in an autopsy of a body to find out the, the cause of death. And they found out that uh, in two major fast food chains that really you're only eating 40 to 50 percent of chicken meat. The rest of it is fat, skin, connective tissue, blood vessels, nerves, and bone fragments, which is actually really disgusting to think about that they can get away with calling that chicken. See, whenever I think of eating meat and I'm trying to be healthy, the one thing I always think about is eating chicken. It's kind of a natural thing. Well, the sad thing is McDonald's and Wendy's, when you're thinking of chicken nuggets, you're not really getting chicken nuggets. Uh, what's really happening is it's, it's a low-fat white meat chicken batter. They fry it up, and they still call it chicken. It's really just a chicken byproduct that's high in calories, sugar, fat, and is an extremely unhealthy choice. Even worse, it tastes great to kids, and it's marketed just to them. And of course, as parents, what are we going to do? Give to our kids what they want, right? That needs to change. Now, in this study, they didn't specifically mention which restaurants were tested to find out the content. But we can imagine the top two, I would guess, would be McDonald's and probably Wendy's. Um, the only way to determine what was in the nuggets was to take sections of it and analyze it the same way they do an autopsy, like I already said. Uh, the nuggets from the first restaurant had 50% skeletal tissue, which is basically what they're considering meat. And the second restaurant included 40%. So there's a little bit of a difference, but still ridiculously high. The names of the two, two chains investigated were published in the American Journal of Medicine, but were not released. Dr. Uh, DeShazo, that's D-E-S-H-A-Z-O, is the one who, uh, who did the study. They're thinking that they're basically they're misleading consumers. I'm going to play a short video clip here so you can hear some of the interview. This is the University of Mississippi Medical Center, Dr. D. DeShazo. And so I got a little bit curious about chicken nuggets. It almost seemed like they were habituating, that you know kids were addicted to the chicken nuggets. Which is absolutely so true. So we took a look at uh, these, and um, so I talked with one of our pathologists, and I said, you know, the only way to really look at a meat product is actually to do like we do with the human body, is to actually do a histopathological study of it, section it just like we would with a piece of meat. He said, that's a good idea, let's do it. And as soon as he did the, the, the autopsy <laughs> on the chicken nugget, he said, you've got to come look at this. I can't believe it. Uh, there's very little meat in this chicken nugget. It's mostly other stuff. And the other stuff was mostly fat. So what we have done is we've taken a very healthy product, lean white meat, and processed it, wrapped it in a bread shell, which wasn't even in, in our calculation. Where the bread was taken off of our calculation. But wrapped this healthy piece of meat and gooed it up with a lot of other products that have a very, very high content of fat, sugar and salt, and kids love that combination. I was floored. I was astounded. Actually seeing this under the microscope is a whole lot different than reading numbers uh, on a web page or something like that. I had seen these broad estimates of how much actual lean meat were in these things versus carbohydrates and fats. And it just didn't really register with me. But when I actually saw the pictures of this stain, it became very, very clear that this was a misnomer. These aren't chicken nuggets because the predominant component of them not chicken. aren't chicken. Yep. All chicken nuggets are not the same. Done with chicken nuggets is frequently uh, when chicken is processed, there's some chicken left on the bone. And you can actually vibrate this stuff off. And when you get that sort of chicken leftovers, you can put it together and mix it up with other substances and come disgusting. out with a goo. 
that you can fry that is a chicken nugget. So it's not actually, it's a combination of chicken and carbohydrates and fats and other uh, things that make it glue together. It's almost like super glue uh, (laughs) that we're eating and feeding to our grandkids. It's just kind of disgusting to think that we're feeding our kids this garbage and uh, a lot of people just don't even realize it. But I'll leave the uh, links below in the uh, description. Thank you for watching. Have a great one.